there are a large variety of text editing commands. If you take a look at the edit pull down in the text file, you will see a multitude of specific commands. Each one has a purpose of saving you time and effort when it comes to drafting. They are well worth checking out one at a time and seeing which ones best fit into your workflow. Let's take a look at a few of these. I'm going to start with find and replace text. Now in this drawing, there are retaining walls and they are labeled RET WALL. -L. I would like to replace those with a shorter abbreviation of just RTW. You can take a look at the options. The search options which allow you to match case sensitivity using wildcards, searching all the way through X references. Blocks, it will search for text contained within a block. And the text types, you can use attributes or single or multi-line text. You have the option to find or just simply replace all. Let's start by finding the ones that are contained in the drawing. The program tells me that there were 22 matches found. I can look at these and see that they're in model space. I can highlight any one of these and zoom to that piece of text. And I can simply just replace all. I'm going to repeat that command for the word concrete. Word concrete, I would like to shorten to just the word C-O-N-C, -C, period. I'm not going to bother finding them. I'm just going to replace all. And the command replaces all instances of the word concrete with the shorter abbreviation as indicated. Another often used text editing tool is move text with leader. That is found under the edit, pull down, text flyout, and move text with leader. This is a, such an often used command, I find it much more helpful to have this command on either a ribbon or a toolbar for easier access. It is contained in the toolbar in the draft tab, move text, and move text with leader, these two commands. The way this command works, is simply pick the text. If the text is associated with a point, a Carlson point, it automatically adds a leader to the text. If it is not associated with a point, if it's just freestanding text, the command works exactly the same, but it asks you the beginning point of the leader. This command is great for quick edits and cleaning up your drawing. If you choose to move the text, simply reselect it and a new arrow is placed. Occasionally, drawings will be rotated after a lot of text has been placed. And because of the rotation, the text now is written upside down or just cosmetically not appealing. So you can see in this instance, there are some text is written correctly and some is upside down. I would like to correct all of that at once. To do so, I'm going to use flip text by twist screen. This command will take a look at the text and flip it and rotate it to where it's readable based upon your current dView twist or twist screen. I simply execute the command, window in all the text, and hit enter. You'll notice the text that was upside down rotated correctly, but the text that was already correct did not change. I can now make further edits using my move text with leader command and dress up the drawing. Similarly, some of the symbols are not rotated the way I'd like to see them. This catch basin, for example, should be aligned with the edge of pavement line or the curb line itself. Another easy to use command to rotate that symbol without moving the position is under edit, rotate, and entity insertion point rotate, which works on text, symbols, and points. If I execute the command, I have several options. I'm going to choose the one follow an entity segment. So I type E. I then select the polyline of which I would like this symbol to follow 
and then the symbol and hit enter and it rotates the symbol to the polyline. I can now complete the labeling of that symbol. To use that same command, another option is to type P for pick, which allows the user to rotate the symbol manually in any direction they desire. Of note with that command is the follow option. The follow option would allow you to select a polyline and window in a large amount of symbols, texts, and points and have them all rotate along the polyline following the complete direction of that polyline. For example, rotating symbols, text, and points along the center line of a roadway.